stay back. Hack, this here's official business. He's trying to rob our bounty. Yeah. Hey, will you get me off this horse? <laughs> Are you carrying me to? Uh, you're after me too! I know it! I know it! Don't. Don't. Oh! Idiot. Idiot. Mister? Must be tough for you staying awake sometimes. Anyway, I won't distract you. Yeah! Come on, my girl. Mister? You see any welcome sign around here? Go on with you. Calm down. Ah. 
Stay right there! No, please. You got horse shit for brains. Help! Help me! Well, been a pleasure. Jesus cussing Christ!
Buddy, wish my horse was that. Get out of here. Don't much like it. 
Out here! No more! Uh... Just stay the hell away from snakes, all right? some assistance gathering herbs for my studies. Uh, sure. Uh, you see this purple flower here? This is sage. But I'll need to experiment with more of it before I can be sure of its effects. I found this one with his friends in the woods. I'd check wooded areas for more. Let's try this. Oh, yes. I feel ready to take on the world. I'll have trouble sleeping tonight. A man could go for days on this. You've had some long ones, I'm sure. Some sage may just be what you need. You've been a great help. I'd like to give you this recipe as a son. Prepare this for long journeys. And hold on tight. Your horse will never want to stop running. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting back to my studies. I look forward to our next meeting, Traveler.
Arthur. now, Arthur. Mr. Moore. How are you holding up? Not very well. well. I'm sorry. It'll get better eventually. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Okay, Arthur. Arthur. Good to you. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. 
You uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. And they don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Hopper! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging him. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Mike has got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You're supposed to be scouting ahead. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was. You worry too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Micah knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Man, he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. It happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get them? I'll come with you. No, uh, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mac. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Well, nothing big. But we kept it clean. We're all good. If you say so, Arthur. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You! I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. Yeah. That was the problem. How you mean? 
I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Mike... A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, there, Dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for the last... Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. But me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> oh. Mm. <sighs> oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Hey, Lenny! You seen that fella I was with? No, no. Lenny? Can't find my friend. You know where we went? Don't ask me. Lenny, where are you? You know which way my friend went? Best ask someone else about that. Lenny! Hey, you see my friend anywhere? No idea. What are you doing, kid? Hello? Oh, <laughs> 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 why ain't you never married? Don't have me. That's the thing, you see, because it. Lenny? Lenny! Get away from me! Now! Who's slippery little right, shit, ain't you? Come on, come on. Hey, where are you at? Get down from there! Where are you here, Lenny? Come here, boy. Hey, you know where Lenny is? Sorry, can't help. Lenny! Lenny! Leave the kid alone, you goddamn animals! Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get lost, buddy. Shut up, mister! Yeah, shut your mouth, mister. <laughs> <laughs> Me. How many of you had, pal? Lenny, where are you hiding now? Lenny, my boy! I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Lenny! You bastard! Lenny! Lenny, what are you talking about? There you are, Lenny. Just go home, will you? Been looking all over for you, Lenny. What? 
Hi, Lenny. <laughs> Found you, Lenny. <laughs> huh? Arthur. Arthur, what are you doing? <laughs> Friend of me, often. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Not you again? No. Again.
your help friend again i know listen i know what this looks like but uh, you got to help me out again I mean, come on please there. yes Relax. oh yeah praise the lord <laughs> thank you you must be my guardian angel i hope i'll get a chance to repay you someday <laughs> uh, I won't hold my breath.
on it. Hey there, mister. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You got issues with Can't me? Can't you just cool it? <clears throat> Mister, now that's a well-bred horse you got there. Morning. Hi there, Mister. Morning to you. Can I get a buck, mister? Sure. Thank you! Oh, thank you, mister! All right, girl. You blind? Hey, partner! Help a blind man. Have this. Thank you, sir. Thank you. 
Keep moving, sir. Keep moving. But don't move too fast. Okay, I will try to bear that in mind. Are you still here? What are you waiting for? I can't tell you. Okay, what you girl. Interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Oh, please. Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survive that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. How are you feeling about things now? 
What things? This place. The gang. Been here a few weeks now. Good, I think. Better. I figured more folks would have cut and run on us, given everything that happened. Like Dutch always says, a lone wolf don't last long out on the plains. He does like to trot that one out. People see that, especially when they get a few years on them. Even someone like Micah. There's a couple of folks I wish had cut and run. Maybe they'd say the same about you. That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. <sighs> Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Your father home, son. Sure is. Get him down. Please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? Free. Spinal alignment. What? Spinal alignment. The Lord God Almighty, whomever built us, put our brains in here, but our souls is in our backs. So your, your back looks kind of tricky. Sure. I can fix that. Fifteen sessions. Whiskey suits me fine. Whiskey is, whiskey is this causing the problem. You ever meet a Scot who didn't hobble in old age? But the English stand tall, sir. Gin? They drink gin. And what is gin made with? Juniper. And what does the juniper do? Creates movement in the spine. If your whiskey made with grain as it is, it leaves the spine brittle. Stay down here a little. Won't take long. I was worse than you, sir. I was broke. Look at me now. I dance every night. Women adore me. Seriously, 
It's all about the spine. We think our brains is in our heads, but they are in our backs. Oh. Oh. I can tell you're a very wise man, but the troubles, they're killing you. Ah. Is that better? Just a bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a little bit better. This session has been free, but perhaps I might call again. How much will it cost me? Who are you? Junior, we're being tricked. Shoot this bastard. You want to... Me. Oh, no! I told you to stay hidden, Arthur. Let's get the stagecoach. We need to leave now. Come on, let's get out of here before the law shows up. Yeah. Shit, there's a man coming. Just play it cool. He might not know the situation here. I think we should be okay now. We're far enough away. Slow it down a bit. Whoa, whoa! We could have done this without killing anyone. It worked out. We got everything we needed. That's not the point. It might not have... What if there were more people around we didn't know about? We'd have dealt with them, too. All right. Fine, it's done now. Let's just get back to Emerald Ranch and turn this in. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. <laughs> exactly. So how long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Easy. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. Nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. My back needs some working over. Well, lie down and I'll get cracking. Uh, I don't think so. You like this author, don't you? I found this. Yes, indeed. And I haven't read this one. Thank you, Arthur. Leave me alone. What are you doing, Dad? Oh. Throwing rocks at you, Driscoll? Why? Because he's an old Driscoll. 
Uh, you always said that was bad. Leave him alone. Go uh, on, away with you. But you said... Get away with you. Leave the rock throwing to the grown-ups. I'm mighty hungry, Pearson. Just hold your horses. Folks seem really happy now. Sure. This, this is everything. The whole world is in a smile, Arthur. <laughs> Remember that. Hello, good sir. I'm so in love. He's, uh, he's, he's not doing the washing, that's for sure. Now help me, you'll clear out. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Hey, you all right, old man? <coughs> Sure. Good. You know, we've been riding a long time together, haven't we? Sure. When I'm riding next to you. Get him.
Easy there. There, girl. Señor, 
I think maybe we see if uh, last time was luck, huh? I'm feeling good today, Way. What do you say about up in the ante this time? Make it interesting. Why not? I'm feeling good too. Ha! Okay, my friend, let's do it. Just like the last time, okay? Who can shoot the most bottles? Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready, all right? <laughs> Ah, yes! Ha! I'm not surprised. <laughs> ah, well, that explains the smell of tequila in the air, at least. Hey, hey, you gave it a good try, man. How about a chance for redemption, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha! Uh -huh. That's a good call, amigo. Just like... For me, amigo. You shoot four birds out of the sky before me. You got close, but not quite. Practice more, huh? Listen, you need to pay me for your loss, okay?
Yep. Driscoll. Now, pretend you don't know. Oh, 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 oh. ah! There'll be nothing left Shit. here when we're through. Ah! We killers us, oh. old Driscolls.
Hold on there, girl. go. What can I do for you? Thank you. 
Hello, sir. I've uh, I've come from Blackwater. I'm on the trail of a dangerous gang, Como Driscoll. Heard you had some sort of incident. We don't deal with bounty hunters around here, son. I, I was just wondering if I could get a description. Well, they weren't friends. They got in a fight. Two men got killed. Now one of them's an idiot. The other's some kind of dumb mix. So maybe them's your boys. You can look right enough when we hang them. Thank you, Sheriff. Let me out of here, you maggots! Arthur! Arthur! Hello, old friend. Had a good time, did you? <laughs> you gonna get me out of here? I ain't decided yet. Real funny. Oh, I ain't you. I heard so much bluster out of your mouth these last six months. And now, I got an opportunity to watch you be silenced. Well, you gotta do something. Why? I always looked up to you, Arthur. Well, that's your first mistake. Listen, there's one little problem. There's only one of me, and there's a whole town full of people wanting to see you swing. You got to do something, Arthur. Maybe that steam donkey over there still works. Yes! Hook that over the bars. See if you can pull them off. What a modern disaster this is gonna be. Just pull that lever. Come on. Here, come on. What the hell are you doing? He wasn't O'Driscoll. I knew you were scum moment I laid eyes on you. Go that way. Let's get the hell out of here. I got some unfinished business. Trust me, Morgan. Trust you? You Let's have finally here. lost your damn Keep mind. Keep moving, Arthur. God. <laughs> you goddamn mate. I should have left you to hang. We're in it. Now, Morgan, what do you want to do? You're dead now! Bastard! See you in hell! Send them all out! Come on! Everything you got! We should be long gone by now! They got something of mine I ain't leaving without! Who? You made a big mistake! Oh, I'm gonna get to you next! Come on! Let's... Coming for you right now. Let's go. Where are we going? Making a house call. Oh, there's more of these morons. <laughs> uh, can somebody send out a man for me to curl him up? We really should get out of here. Calm yourself, woman. Like I said, I need to see some. Skinny, get out here. 
Jimmy, Micah, it's Norman. Go! Oh. You always was a letdown, you fat sack of crap! Excuse me, you man at Arthur. Hello! Ah! Ah! Who's gonna get that man? Who's gonna get that? He had something of mine. Ah! My gun. Up here! Come on! I'm sick! That's straight back! Where are you going now? You want to get out of here, don't you? Yep. Reckon it's time we got out of here, Morgan. Now you want to get out of here? Oh, yeah. oh. How many of these sons of bitches are there? Yeah. Keep riding, Morgan! I don't have much choice! Look! Some good shooting, Morgan. Whew. I gotta hand it to you. What the hell was that you pulled back there? Got a bit wild, all right. Wild? Making a house call in the middle of all that? Ain't much I care about more than those guns. That much is clear. Who was that fella? Skinny? Yeah. We ran together for a while. Did a bank job down south. Didn't end well. I saw how it goddamn ended. He was gonna let me hang. I'm starting to wish I had. And you owe Lenny, too. He hadn't found us in time. Yes, we'll all be thanked profusely, I promise. Yeah, well, you're lucky Dutch has got your back. For some unknown reason. I think we finally lost him. Well, I hope so. I'm giving you a holster. My way of saying thank you. And thank you. There I was, having a dull day only for you. To liven it up by letting me help you shoot up <laughs> half a town. You're a funny fella, Arthur. Real funny. <clears throat> why you act all sour all yeah, the time. Yeah, well, you ain't funny at all. So why you gotta act like the court jester? All right, listen. I'm sorry, but we're family now. Arthur, <clears throat> you and me. Sons of Dutch makes us brothers. <clears throat> Sometimes brothers make mistakes. I'm heading back to my little camp where I'm back a strawberry. Come see me. Maybe I can make things up to you. So you ain't heading back to Dutch? No, I've been a bad boy, Arthur. I ain't seeing Dutch till I can bring him a peace offering. <clears throat> Bye now. Yeah.
Howdy. Nice to see you. That's quite a sum. I hope you learned your lesson. Hey there. Damn you, It's all good. Calm down. You ain't too smart. Fancy talk, eh? Raise your hands! Now!
So, you're still alive. <laughs> Mr. Morgan! How are you? Indigestible, apparently. Aside from that, very well. How's the project going? Well, this is God's country, and I am his faithful servant, although perhaps not his most talented one. I have been trying to capture the grace of the wild horses here for weeks, only the buggers can't stand me. Ah. That is a silver dapple pinto. I know. Beautiful. Won't come anywhere near me, of course. He can smell my stupidity. Well, how about I drive him over? Oh, that might help. Can you be bothered? I feel like such a blunderer. Sure. Wait here. At least this time I doubt I'll get eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, girl. Yep. Yeah. Mustangs. Come on. Yeah. Wrong way, you fools. Yeah, yeah. You want your likeness taken? Go then. Keep moving. Easy, easy. Let's make you all famous. Move it! Go on. You look pretty doing it. Come on. Genius. No, but I can ride a horse. Well, in my world, that makes you a genius. You're too kind. <laughs> so how are the uh, photos coming along? Oh, amazing. Here, I have a print of the wolves before they try to eat us. Mm. It's for you. That's real fine. Well, thank you. Take care, Mr. Mason. You too, sir. You too. Now, for a few final checks. Don't mind me. I may be at this for some time. You know, horses seem like a fine subject for you. You maybe think about documenting animal life of the farmyard variety from now on? <laughs> yes, you had me there. A wild horse is a different beast to his domesticated brother. Very good, very good. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least there's nothing out here that's likely to eat me. There isn't, is there? Come on, girl. Yeah. 
Hey there, friend. Wanna take the weight off? Fire's good and hot. Hey there, partner. Mi casa, su casa, friend. Thanks. So, you got a girl, mister? Yeah, not anymore. Me neither. Got my eye on one, though. I was hunting north of Annisburg when I came across this cabin. And there's no one there but this woman. Bit bony, but beautiful as the day is long. Real elegant fancy type, too. Oh, yeah? I see how you like them, too, friend. Don't know what she's doing out there in the middle of nowhere, but turns out she's a widow. She asked me to leave, but in a real nice way. M made me feel good. I watched her from the bushes for a while, saw her cry. Uh -huh. I think this is a place I could really hang my saddle. A hot dinner and warm bed every night. Mmm, don't sound bad to me at all. All right, I need to cool down a bit. You know, I can't... Have we met before someplace? Just have one of those faces. Hell no. You can count me the hell out of this. Goodbye. Yep. Like visitors, huh? Oh yeah, real clever. Get out of here, fool. Yeah. Yeah. some hard country around these parts. Well, good luck to you.
Doctor! Oh. All right, friend, all right. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna help me? Uh, you gotta. Uh, 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 you gotta. Please, do something. I'll uh, get you help. Uh, Just stay alive. Okay. Okay. This is it. I won't forget. I've never seen anything like that. My arm. I can't feel it anymore. How about you get moving? All right, friend. All right, we're at the doctor. Hey, I'm minding my own business. My mistake. Here we go. Oh, good God. Quickly, bring him in here. <clears throat> right here. And sit him down in this chair. Just saw you fall out of the saddle. Don't worry, you're at the doctor. Thanks, friend. I appreciate it. Sure. There's also the matter of my payment. But we'll deal with that later. All right. All right. A lot of blood loss. And this wound's badly infected. Ah! I'll save as much as I can, but I'll have to amputate it. What? What did you say? Try to breathe. Uh, I'll give you something for the pain. No. There you are. Then I'll knock him out for a while. You did a good thing bringing him here. But now, I'd recommend moving along. <clears throat> you do not want to see this. Sorry it's come to this. Ah, oh, Jesus. Good work, Doctor. Yeah, he's lucky. Wounds like that will kill you if you aren't careful. He's lucky he just lost the arm. <sighs> it's nice of you to stay, but 
Don't fret. He'll make it. Come now. Let's let him rest. All we can do now is hope for the best. Okay, man, talk. <laughs> I'm not gonna hurt you. Oh, oh. oh shit! Creepy bastards! <laughs> 